Hello Wargamers, Vom Domnasio here. Welcome to day one of Adepticon 2015. Today with me, I'm at uh, my buddy Mark's again. Say hi, Mark. Hi, Mark. <laughs> <laughs> I saw that one coming. <laughs> but uh, we actually just got back about 10 minutes ago from Adepticon for day one. Yeah. And uh, we got some pretty badass loot, so why don't you show us what you got, Mark? Alright. Oh, well, I got a barbed tier duel. Yes, okay. that's what you got. Another, another bar gear duel. Yeah. Actually, before you before you do, tell us, tell the viewers what happened with your last tier in army style because they haven't been. They don't know well, what happened. That's right, I never had them there. Uh, I had a tier in army. I think it was about like a little over three thousand points, like thirty three hundred. Uh, I had a uh, hero, hero fan bio titan. I got for a really good deal. Uh, the leg was broken, like the lower part of the back leg was broken and missing. So I wound up, so I got it for very cheap. Uh, I wound up custom making a leg out of some other Tyranid bits. It worked out. <clears throat> had a barbed hero duel. I had basically a Nidzilla list, which you never really see anymore. Uh, a lot of dock effects, is swarm lords, flying hive tyrant, that sort of thing. <clears throat> I wound up selling it, but I made a profit on it, so it was okay. I found some other stuff. <clears throat> but yeah, so I'm, I'm going to be doing it again. So I'm going to run him just in 2,000 points, probably more apocalypse stuff. <clears throat> and uh, I'm planning on having an unbound army with a squad of three dock effects, squad of two dock effects, the swarm with full tyrant guard and a flying hive tyrant. So it's gonna be all monsters. <clears throat> uh, so it'll it'll be fun. These are cool though. I mean, they're they're pretty freaking big. So it doesn't look that big now. It's not complete, but it's, it's still you know freaking huge. When it's painting up a mountain on its base. Oh, you pulled it into the decimator, oh, right. dude. Yeah. So that's, that's the, the base reference. for it. I mean, those are that's ripper swarms on the base. Yeah. Um, you put it next to the decimator just oh, to give yeah, it a size yeah. reference. So this is honestly, that's the decimator. It's like contemptor size. It's about the same height. Actually, a little lighter. taller. Now I look yeah. at it. And then that's the. Uh, that's the body. That, that's still kind of be sitting like that. So, so yeah, it's it's pretty freaking yeah, huge. It's pretty freaking big. Yeah. <laughs> but no, that's good. Monster creatures yeah, become gargantuan. Actually, it's gargantuan. Uh, it? yeah, I, th I think it still is. I don't know what the rules are on it now. I gotta find one. Uh, uh, it's, it's, it's in the it's main rule book. book. That's yeah. right, yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, I, I don't want to look it up right now, no, so we'll, right, we'll worry yeah. about that later. Yeah. Uh, but, uh, so that was the main thing he got for his... Yeah. Actually, no, that's the second the main thing. The main thing was, oh, uh, was, uh, this little guy. Rebellion 12, Fall of Morpheus. Yeah, it's the, uh, Necron kind of... There's all the Necron rules. Like, they have army-wide rules in there for a Necron army. They got all the rules for the Forge World models they make and some cool stuff. that I haven't even been in, in, opening up yet. <laughs> yeah. Mark's been uh, wanting this for the last year and a half, at least, so... Yeah, I decided not to get it at the last uh, Adepticon. I thought they ran out last year. Late. Huh? How thought they ran out last year. No, they had it, but I wound up <clears throat> getting the... Actually, no, was it... Well, yeah, no, yeah, it was last year I got the Barb Hero and I had the Tyranid stuff going. Oh. I, I forgot. Oh, I got the Tomb Stalker. And I got the two uh, Sentry Pylons. Oh, okay. And it was like, I mean, Sentry Pylons were 75 bucks a pop, the Tomb Stalker were 70 bucks, and this thing's, what is it, 167 or whatever, so I was like, man, I'm not spending more this time, you know? But no, uh, sorry about that, ladies and gentlemen. Um, but no, that's the Imperial Armor, Volume 12, the, the Fall of Morpheus. Really sweet book for Necrons. Yeah. And uh, Mark's excited, yeah. so. Actually, it's the only book they've ever had that has all the neck that Forge Real ever had from Imperial Armor that has all the Necron stuff in it. Because years back, I think the Pylon and then the Tomb Stalker and a few other things they had were in like three different books. It was crazy. Nice. So, <clears throat> um, all right, show us what else you got. Uh, well, since I'm starting off the Tyranids, <clears throat> I'm at least going to have one, probably two flying hive tyrants, like Doc and the tyrants. So I got uh, the Forge Real <clears throat> uh, Tooling Devourers. Now, the reason <clears throat> you get these is because on the flying hive tyrant, you can have four gun arms and wings, but the wings take up an arm slot. So unfortunately, you can't put the four arms on and the wings in the arm slot. So a four roll made these, there are tw uh, <coughs> two twilling devourers that are doubled up on one arm. So that way it still shows you have two pairs of twilling devourers, but it also has the wing slot still, which makes it work better. So I got two of those, two pairs of them, so that should work pretty good. <coughs> then uh, got, these are cool, I, I had the uh, Chaos S uh, I got the Chaos Decimator Demon Engine. It's pretty cool. Uh, the way I got it, I got it used. <coughs> had the uh, the Siege Claw with a built-in heavy flamer, <coughs> and it came with a uh, heavy conversion beam, <coughs> which is pretty cool. But I'd rather not have to sit on the back of the board to use the gun. <coughs> um, what I got <coughs> was the uh, Butcher Cannons. <coughs> they're a they're like a, a Reaper Auto Cannon. 
Like so, actually, on the rules, they have they're all 36 inch range, <clears throat> strength 8, AP 4, and I believe they're heavy 4. <clears throat> so they're basically a, kind of a souped up auto cannon. <clears throat> uh, less, well, less range, but they got, uh, you know, the uh, the strength 8. <clears throat> so they're pretty cool. It was either that or their storm lasers, their strength 6, AP 3, heavy D3 plus 2. So you're always getting three shots, but I opted for the, you know, the eight guaranteed shots, so I figured it would be better. <laughs> and they look really cool. Because who doesn't want, you know, a giant blade with their auto cannon? <laughs> That's true. That's true. <laughs> That's pretty no. chaos. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Alright, what else you got? Uh, that's actually it, so... But what's that one, then? Oh, 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 no, I got, I got two of them. So oh, okay. I figured yeah. I'll make it a shooty one, you know? And then, ladies and gentlemen, this is what I get for not paying attention. <laughs> da -da 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 -da. Right, the button. <laughs> Woohoo, a button. Yeah, they get out free buttons. Um, that, if they can get a variety, is that, that's like, uh, I forgot what. Death Guard. Death Guard. Yeah. You can get uh, Night Lords, Iron Warriors, and a couple other guys. I think yeah. War Leaders, too, right? Yeah, War Leaders. Yeah, I got yeah. Iron Warriors. Mark got uh, Death Guard. So, as you can tell, so as you can tell, this year's Decepticon is very chaos themed this year. Oh, yeah. I remember last year they had a couple of Space Marine things, but... Uh, yeah, well then actually, you know what we gotta talk about too? The crazy tank they came out with. Oh god, I yes. I forget what it was called. It was called... It was, called, uh, it was, it was Solar something. Oh, uh, Solar Primaris or Primaris Solar or something? I'm, I'll tell you what. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, if I find the link to For in Forge World, I'll yeah. uh, I'll post a video about it yeah. and then I'll talk about it with you guys later. Yeah, it in the meantime, pretty awesome. actually, we do. I do remember what all the weapons were on it. Yeah. Um, if I recall correctly, the guy at Forge World said that it came with what was it? Six multi lasers. Six multi lasers, sponsor mounted. mounted. So there's three on each side. Yeah. Uh, then and it, two, yeah. and it came with one on the front as well. No, uh, I think yeah, I think it was you can do last cannon too though. Oh, okay. It was last cannon or multi laser, I think. And the, but the but the best part is. So it it has a normal bane blade cannon, like higher than a normal turret. So basically, you know where you have the hole, you know, and it kind of it curves up, and the bane blade cannon sits on top. Well, that's a little bit higher for the main blade cannon. Mm -hmm. Then they have a twin length main blade cannon underneath it. So there's three main blade cannons. One's turret mounted, the other one's <laughs> hole mounted. It's... Well, it has, it has a little bit of like probably a 45 degree arc of fire. It looks oh, okay. like it's hole, but it can swing either way a little bit. Yeah, so it's three main blade. Yeah, it's just three main blade cannons. Well, one, Two, one, 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 one regular one length and one at. Yeah, but essentially it's. God, that's just, that's just over. But still, even two plain blade cannons, one twin length, holy crap, you know? Yeah, I was seriously tempted to buy that, ladies and gentlemen, but, yeah. um, cons but I was, but I'll, I'll explain to you when we go, when we, um, <laughs> the worst part is, that tank alone, for the Solar tank that we were just talking about, $250. Yeah, yeah so you, you're basically paying the price of, you know, well, no, more than... Two bane blades because they're 140 or 160. They're 140, so it's it's a little less than two bane blades, but uh, no, a little more than two well, bane blades. Well, after taxes. Oh, no, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh no, 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 yeah, one, yeah, yeah, two. Yeah, it's, it's yeah. a little, it's it's less than two bane blades, but it's still pretty darn expensive. Yeah, that is awesome. True. Because who doesn't want two giant bane blade cannons on their team? Yeah, but I'd rather spend the 250 dollars and get one of those mega forces, honestly. Yeah. That we have a, an army in but a box. It's, it's a bane blade that has. Three gun barrels of Bane Blade on it. <sighs> Maybe next year. Maybe next year, because I, I, no doubt they'll have they'll have them at least. Yeah, they might even have another variant. Maybe they'll have like I don't know, like a like a what do you call it? The other uh, Hellhammer one. Exactly. Or something like that. That'd so cool. yeah, I'll uh, I'll be sure to keep an eye out for that next year. Yeah. All right. Well, that was Mark's that was Mark's loot. That was pretty impressive right there. All right. So I'm gonna show you my epic loot. It's not that epic. No, it's awesome. Way awesome, really much. Especially when, I, especially when the rest of my order comes in. Yes. I'll explain in a second, guys. First of all, I had a very successful time at Forge World today. Let's start with this little baby. A little too successful, I might say. One could say that, but I choose not to. But it's awesome, so it's okay. <laughs> the first thing is this. The Horus Heresy Legions of Stardis book. It's an expansion to the Horus Heresy rulebooks, which are also available at Forge World. I didn't want to pick it up because I'm pretty sure the rules are virtually the same. Uh, although, I'm sure I'm wrong at some point. No, I, was, I think it's the same rule. They have more stuff than the other one, or more campaign stuff, I think. Oh, so all campaign-related stuff, I guess? No, yeah, well, it might have, like, uh, rules for the newest stuff, you know what I mean? Oh. That probably doesn't have that new the Storm tank or whatever, you know, the new tank. 
I mean, so that so yeah, everything you're ever going to need is in there. You know, I mean, most of the stuff is. But just to note, this is an expansion. This lists all the uh, uh, Legions of Stardust units that you can that you can purchase through Forge World to play in games of Warhammer Forty Thousand and the Horus Heresy specifically. Uh, the reason why I bought this was because I have actually I'm going to have three models that use these rules. The first is my baby, the Contemptor Dreadnought, right, right down in front. Because you know, it's, it's actually the Relic Contemptor Dreadnought. That's just a big difference, not a whole lot of difference. But uh, I'm also going to get two more, actually, actually no, it's three, because um, point is, I have a whole bunch of Forge World models that use these rules listed in this Horse Heresy book. This was the main thing I want. This is, actually, I didn't even know this thing existed until we went to Forge World. Today. Yeah, neither did I. It's, what it's I cool. mainly came for was two vehicles, both of which I had to order online because I didn't have it on them. Because as I, as Mark and I explained earlier, they don't, they can only carry so much, and yeah. well, and it doesn't help when one of the FedEx, you know, one of the boxes. FedEx was shipping stuff to them on pallets, I guess, mm -hmm. and one of their boxes fell off the pallet and was in the back of the truck after they delivered everything. So they have another box coming. Who knows what's in that? <laughs> yeah. Well, the two things I ordered was, which I will explain, I'll provide a link to or show you a picture on during the video, is the Stormblade Super Heavy Tank, which is basically has the, pl the Titan Plasma Blast Gun. Hell yeah. I mean, come on, who wouldn't want a bane, um, plus a blast gun mounted on a Bane Blade chassis? Oh, yeah, I mean, it's, I think that's actually the only one that has uh, a Titan weapon uh, uh, on there, you Aside know. from the, uh, the Shadow Sword Cannon? Well, yeah, the, uh, no, what? no, that's not even, uh... Oh, it's, yeah, you're right, the Shadow Sword yeah. Cannon. Yeah, well, no, because they have the Turbo Laser. I guess, well, the Turbo Laser is kind of the same. It's, I mean, it's a strength, the AP2, 2, 5 inch blast. I mean, I mean well, I think, well, the, 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 no, the Volcano Cannon's on... Well, actually, I think the Reaper has like a multiple barrel volcano cannon or something. The Shadow Sword Cannon is a volcano cannon. Yeah, I mean, I think the, I think the Reaper Titan has like a like the same thing, a multiple barrel type thing. Yeah, it's got it's got a triple barrel one. Yeah. Um, so yeah, that's still awesome. Who doesn't want a freaking volcano cannon? Yeah. But um, point is, I got a, I'm getting a Stormblade. That one was one of the models that they didn't have at the time, so I, I ordered that, and it'll be here in about a month or two. Twenty-five, twenty-five, twenty-five. Like what, months? Land Raider 25. Oh, right, right. <laughs> you and your subtle hints. <laughs> 25. Yeah, it was just on something. <laughs> but anyway, yes, I'm, I digress. The other thing I modeled was, uh, I wanted was the Spartan Assault Tank. Woo! Okay, Mark and I were looking at it. Last year's Forge World magazine. Well, we didn't know the rules. I, we, I, we didn't know I, the rules. We were looking at the model. We realized that it had two sponsors with two twin linked. Basically, had four, uh, four, uh, four Blazkins on a sponsor. Yeah, yeah. And a and that was it actually. But um, it was pretty. It had some sleek armor designs. But what we found out, well, well Mark actually told me. I, I, that I thought it was 20 models. For some reason, I remember it had a 20 model capacity. And the guy at Forge World said it had 25. And then we looked it up, and it's got and 25 then, model carrying capacity. But it's not a Land Raider chassis base, it is a totally custom Forge World model. But still, it's like, I know. Yeah, well, that, it's cool because it actually is physically bigger, which yeah. makes sense, you know. I'm excited, really. Um, it was well, can you imagine that? Now here's the crazy part: 25 models, 12 models in Terminator armor, and one in Power armor. I think. Because oh no, uh, yeah, yeah, 12 times two is 24. Yeah. Plus yeah. one in Power armor. Yeah. So 12 Terminator models and one in Power armor can fit in there. That's a lot of models. That's crazy. Um, but yeah, that, those two are on hold right now. I mean, they're going to be here in about a month or so, which, <laughs> so I'll post that in a future video. Yeah. And I'm definitely going to bring us to Mark's house when we do this again on this board. Oh yeah, here, let me get a shot of all the, the loot. Well, yeah. We're going things one at a time, though. I already looked at it. Oh, no. Oh, man. Spoilers. No, I'm just kidding. But, uh, one of the other things I was iffy about was the Land Raider Achilles. This is actually pretty slick. When I asked them, the guy at Forge World, to get a Land Raider Achilles, he said they only have the Alpha pattern Achilles. I thought, okay, maybe there wasn't a whole lot of difference. 
It turns out, when after reading from the Horus Heresy book, the Alpha Pattern Achilles actually has a doesn't have a Thunderfire cannon on its chassis. It's got something called a Quad Mortar, which actually has better stats than a Thunderfire cannon. It doesn't have as many shells, mind you, but yeah. it does have some pretty slick stats. Like for like, if I recall correctly, the it has one called a uh, I think it was like it was fragging one of the rounds. The other round allows you to reroll fill our penetration rolls at strength. Oh, pens. it had the the sunder rule or something, yeah, right? Yeah, it's the sunder rule. It's yeah. It allows you reroll fill our pens. Uh, but that's pretty cool. It also has what's also called volkite. Um, it's, vol it's basically vol a volkite weapon strength. Yeah. It's like strength 8, AP 4. Yeah. And um, the Volkite has a special rule. All Volkite weapons have a special rule that, that's... What, that's def that's deflagrating or something? Or? No, um... I thought that was one... When, that whenever you resolve an attack with a Volkite weapon, look at how many unsaved wounds you've inflicted. Yeah. You cause that many additional hits. Automatic hits. Automatic hits. Yeah, and then you roll the wound again, and, so... And roll but that's like just the once, right? You can't... It's only once okay, so, yeah, yeah, like that. that. But, but no, it's... That's, That's pretty, awesome. And it's got a pair of those. Uh, it's got it's got, it's got a twin linked version of that on each on spot. Either side. Heck yeah. So that, that thing is gonna be pretty slick. And it, I think it's got a range of 45 inches. So this thing could be Oh yeah. This thing could be a beast. It, so, yeah, oh yeah. Well no, oh, I thought the uh, no, it's 45 Oh, it's not a template? No, it's 45, dude. It's 45 oh, inch range. oh my god, that's awesome. I know. I'm excited. I thought it was like a template or something. No, that's dude. freaking amazing then. Yeah. Damn. Damn. That's awesome. I am excited to paint the build this, paint this, and put it on the field. And then you're gonna have more excitement in about a month or two. <laughs> oh man, I think I'm gonna have a heart attack. Don't do that. No, no, I promise I won't. If not, if I will, Mark will be taking over the channel for me. Oh crap. <laughs> That's right, I put more spots no. the <laughs> Sorry. It's okay, I forgive you. <laughs> okay. Um last things I got on Forge World were actually all arms for the Contemptor Dreadnought. Because what I have for the Contemptor Dreadnought as of now, when I first bought him, he had a close combat weapon with heavy flamer inbuilt and a a heavy conversion beamer. I put those off to the side because I don't want to. These don't look sanctioned by the Imperium. They tend to actually, those look like Tau weapons. You're looking at the wrong thing, you fools. Oops. Oops. <laughs> 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 We're like, you know, like, container of Dreadnought. Um, I'll flip all, them over. I was going Here. to, but right. I also have, I also, as you can see, he's got a twin heavy bolter and a carries assault cannon. Yeah. How a carries assault cannon works is it basically acts like a regular assault cannon except it gets six shots instead of four. Heck yeah. And the best part is you can have two per um, Dreadnought and it won't count as twin linked. It gives you fire two different assault cannons. Mm -hmm. Which brings me to my next point. First off, we have a contender pattern plasma cannon. So, you know, that's mm -hmm. slick. Plasma is always good. Then we have the twin linked multi melta. Or just mm -hmm. a multi melta, it's not twin linked, I apologize. Uh, then we have the slick looking. Uh, can't flip it over because you can't see the clips, but it's an it's been a twin linked auto cannon. Ooh, it's, got, it's got that pretty awesome howitzer like clips. Oh, yeah. And then we have another Terry's assault cannon, so I have two of them now. And the twin linked Laz cannon. Ooh. Basically, I gave my container turn out all weapon choices, including a magnetized. Um, Cyclone missile launcher slash havoc launcher, depending on what format. Let's see the magnet work. Huh? Do oh. it. Pull it off. Take it off. Yeah. Woo! Take it off. Rotates. <laughs> I magnetize the arms too, so I can remove the arms as well as the weapon mounts themselves. Heck yeah. Okay, that was the stuff I got at Forge World. Now I gotta show you the stuff I got at the Toledo Game Room. This is pretty cool. The, the guys at Toledo Game Room, you can. Uh, Buy models. You can also buy the boxes. You know, boxes like you would a GW. But you can also buy individual models that were that were sold to the Toledo Game Shop by other players that didn't want them anymore. And you, and you give them to you at a, you sell them to you at a, at a lower price. Maybe maybe it's not that they didn't want them. Maybe they just needed the money. Either way. I mean, it's not like they didn't like their models. Yeah. And it's I, not like there was like you know 15 of my old models there or anything. <laughs> 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 Someone might have a bomb on the shelf and say, oh, I don't play this anymore. I think I'll just sell and get a, get a few bucks uh, to get for something I actually want. No, but it's funny, though, because, you know, I have... You're right. I, I, I found, like... Mean, no, I was just joking around, because, like, half of my stuff he bought no, from no, me. No, no, <laughs> no, but you're right. They're... 
Right. I was being very narrow-minded on that one. I apologize to any readers about the, any viewers about this, but um, anyway, you you can also buy individual models in little plastic bags Bad that are Greg. sorted. Bad Greg. Sorry. <laughs> okay. Moving on. You can also buy um, little bags that have like models broken, like little bags of plastic crack. <laughs> Essentially, it's true. <laughs> That's what Mark and I likened it to: plastic crack. Because <laughs> because I needed more more battle suit uh, weaponry for my Tau army, so I literally bought a bag full of battle suit weapons. I'm serious, all battle suit equipment. And how much was that? Six bucks. Nice. Actually, right around the bag. But, uh, six bucks, I got all the Tau, um, battle suit weaponry that I could ever want. And, I'm, and I magnetize all this stuff, too. Yeah. I'm... So that way, that my Tau army can be very versatile. The other thing I bought, this was, um, I got two things, actually. The first, I didn't expect yeah, to that... get this today, is an XV-109 Riptide battle suit. Is it a 103 or something, or 102? Because the XV-109 is a Forge World. You're right. I must have mistook it, I apologize. Yeah. But I got a Riptide battle suit for 45 bucks before tax. Oh, it was like 49 cents? Like 50 after ta after the Illinois state tax. Yeah. But um, I gotta tell you, man, I, I basically paid half the price with for, tax. With tax for a Riptide yeah. battle suit. And it looks fantastic. I can't wait to. I mean, it's this. built well. I mean, it's not like they didn't build it right. I mean, no. it's brand new, unpainted, unprimed, and built. I so looked it's... at a picture of the model. It's missing a few bits, but other than that, it looks like it was it was assembled really well. Yeah, well, I mean, you didn't get the drones with it. You didn't get some of the what do you call it? The little. You don't get the drones for it. Obviously. Well, then they have the like it has. I know what that one's called. Isn't that the multi tracker up on his jet up there? Yes. And then you so, but and then again, it's the same stuff as a lot of the battle suits. So you probably got extras anyway. Yeah, I got extras. So if you want to equip them with it, man, just put them on. You yeah, know, just slap them on. You're good. But uh, this is a really well assembled model, and I saw like three of these at varying prices. Yeah, they were as low as forty as forty bucks. Yeah, so yeah, because they have what two built, unpainted, unprimed, right? Yeah, two unbuilt, un, uh, two built, unpainted, unprimed. We had one that was primed and a little painted for like. 50 bucks, but that's still yeah, really yeah, good. Yeah, heck yeah. Yeah, but I didn't expect to get this. This is like a surprise purchase for myself, ladies and gentlemen. I am really happy. I can't wait to paint this up and show you guys in oh, my yeah. town army in future battles. But the really thing that really surprised me is what I found in one of the town boxes. I found Commander Farsight's old battle suit model. That was the metal one, man. And the old metal one. So, Oops. I mean, look at that. It's... I mean, get a shot. Yeah, it's it's really hard to tell because it's in plastic. I mean, I can take the, I can take it out of the bag if you want. Yeah, I take it. It's I mean, it's actually painted pretty decent. You know, table no, top. It's painted pretty good. I mean, I think I might keep it the way it is and maybe just touch it up a little bit in places. But it looks, it on the table. Oh, there it, it, it looks really well painted, all things considered. Oh, oops. It looks pretty good. You know, like I said, I need to touch it up a little bit, but. Overall, I think it turned out pretty well. I mean, yeah, it looks, I mean, unfortunately, it looks kind of pink in here. I think it's just from the lighting. I think it's just from the light. It's probably zooming red. in. That's yeah, it, it's it's like that darker far side red, yeah, or whatever they call it. Um, but this thing only cost me 20 bucks. I mean, even back in the day, it was what 20, 25 at least. Well, for a battle suit, then it was 15 or 20 dollars for the far side upgrade, yeah. So you're looking at like 40 or 50 bucks to get the far side model. Yeah, and even now, first. it's yeah. Even now, I mean, it's fine cast, which and they, there's fine cast stuff is a lot better. But even now, it's still I think actually fifty bucks or to get, a first, or, to get the far side model. The model, itself. yeah, it is, it is it is bigger and it is I think it's cooler looking. But then again, how that thing's like what ten years old? The actual at least model, years. you know what I mean? That, so, but it, it's still cool. He still has that cool sword on there. So, and um, which is a demon weapon. <laughs> hey. I, Supposedly that's why he's lived so long. Exactly. He's like 400 years there's old a, or something. There's a lot crazy. of speculation surrounding it. That is not something we're going to discuss this uh, time. He got it on Arthas Moloch. Uh, that's a demon world, okay? And when he took it, they were attacked by bloodthirst as a bunch of demons. It's a demon world. <laughs> well, that's a lot of speculation. At this time, I'm not going to leave this channel for speculation. I'll, that'll be for another video, okay? Damn it. All right. But no, <laughs> it, it is written in the fluff that way. I admit it's in the fluff, but until it's confirmed, I'm just gonna put it aside and move on. Okay? Okay. That's not what I had in mind. 
<laughs> Sorry. Well, this is all my loot. Actually, I, it turns out I got we got an oops today. They offered us free like little buttons at uh, the Forge World. I got this Iron Warriors one, but when I opened the bag, I got. I think they just threw a couple in there. <laughs> yeah, I got not one but two uh, Night Lords buttons. Well, it was funny because when you first opened the bag, you're like, "Wait, I have a Night Lords one in here." I didn't grab that. Like, where the heck did the, like, wait, I have another one here. Where the heck did, why did, so we were like, what, did one Iron Warriors button suddenly turn into two Night Lords buttons, you know? And I looked at my pocket and I was, oh, there it is. It's in my pocket. It was in my pocket the so whole time. So Craig's been stealing buttons from Forge World. <laughs> no, I think actually the guys, like, threw them in the bag because they, I mean, they, they had a bunch of them sitting on the table. Yeah. Then, I think maybe they meant to throw one in mine, huh? It's, that's why I gave you one. Why do you, why do you got both of them? Where's just took it off the table. It's off the oh camera. no, a distraction. Look at it, there it is. It's right there. He's still, he took it again. Here, it turns down. <laughs> oh, it fell on the floor. Good. All right, guys. Well, that's all our loot. And this is just day one, ladies and gentlemen. This is day one. I don't think we're going to do much more spending. But it depends, because like the guy at uh, the, Toledo, the Toledo Game Room, like he said, they got a bunch. Once they start selling some stuff, they're going to bring out other stuff. Yeah. So we're, we're going to check we're gonna check there periodically throughout the next three days and uh, let you know what goes on. But uh, tomorrow, expect to, expect to see us doing a video on assembling and, and painting these pieces. Yeah, I mean, I don't even know if we really need to head over there tomorrow. I mean, we're not. We're not uh, yeah, I don't, I don't know. We, yeah, we won't. We'll, we'll just hobby a bunch, you know, work on some stuff, and then I mean, if anything, maybe we'll head there Saturday. Or I kind of want to go Sunday. We were thinking going on Sunday, because then we could hobby Friday and Saturday. Exactly. And two days of that. Well, technically, like a half a day Friday, so yeah. I got work. But either way, all day Sunday, if we hobby, I'm sure you can crank out the Land Raider, get your Contemptor magnetized up, and. You know, well, it depends on what we got going on, but I mean... I mean, depending on what I I can get almost all this stuff assembled that's what I'm saying. and fixed and painted. Hopefully I can get the barbed hero duo built up. And, yeah, yeah, you can get your contemptor or your, your decimator arms yeah. already up. Contemptor, <laughs> yep. decimator. I'm, I, I, what I want to try to do is get them primed at least, too. Maybe that's start, true. Maybe yeah. start painting them, you know? Exactly. I would find so, that, too. Well, but that's our stuff. If you guys... I'm, I don't know about you guys, but I'm impressed. And I'll show you more when the Stormblade and Spark Assault tank arrives. So That's gonna be awesome. <laughs> stay tuned, ladies and gentlemen. I'll let you know what goes on. Well, Gore Gamers, that was day one of Adepticon 2015. So stay tuned for more videos, and I will see you guys later. Bye. When we go, when we go to the stuff that loot that. Twenty-five models, Greg. <laughs> 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 Was you living here? <laughs> yeah, well, that's, 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 that you have to mention. You're just a party animal, not an animal animal. Right? <laughs> okay, well, as no distractions, let's uh, let's go to what let's go to my loot then. Sorry guys, uh, <laughs> Mark's mom had to call and uh, take care of a little bit of business. And uh, hey, look, there's Bila. Hi, Bila. Yeah, good doggy. But uh, yeah, minor technical difficulties. We'll be right back. Got Mark. Alrighty. Oh, I forgot. I forgot the main folks. <laughs> Give him a second, folks. Technical difficulties. I swear. Yeah. That's, that's <laughs> the real news. <move. laughs> <laughs> All right. Show us what you got. More this time, you know. Da 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 da. He's he's gonna be spending the next. He's gonna spend the weekend reading that shit. <laughs> <for> <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs> Um, I had a little hairball, sorry. Yeah, I noticed it. <laughs> What'd you do, suck on balls again? God damn it. <laughs> That's none of your damn business. <laughs> I'm doing my free time. Oh, okay then. <laughs> okay. <laughs> if you're lucky. Yeah. Probably like a month or two months. Yeah, I guess, you know, it's pretty average. Kitty! <laughs> oh, dun 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 Oh, there's a new after. There's two kitties, one the black one right there, I see him right over there, and the other one is probably underneath the table. I'm sure he's down there somewhere. Oh well. Oh god, he's right next to <laughs> Get over here. <laughs> Causing trouble? Yeah. He's got a right into him, man. Cute cat. This is a complete non sequitur from what we usually do. <laughs> this seems to be very pet oriented this episode. Well, we have three animals here, considering two of them. One is our cat, one is our dog, and then my sister has her cat here, she's back in college. So it's literally 
an, uh, like, like, a, like, a, like a funny farm, like an animal farm. It's crazy. Uh, <laughs> but you just, okay, so okay, as soon as you turn off the camera, you want to show something, and then why turn it back on? Like, no. Nah, no, that's not really. What are you doing? I'm showing you like a tearing a dick or something. I don't. I don't. I, <laughs> God, that's sick. It's phallic life. <laughs> <laughs> now I kind of wish I hadn't recorded this. Yeah. Now I gotta put it on my video for the lulls. Damn it, Mark. Right. I'm sorry for our younger viewers. That is not helping at all. Thanks, have a good time. Thank you, come again? No. <laughs> no? No, that's from the, the show on, uh, you know, on some of the channels about a dad that's very, very American with uh, a rebel teenage daughter and a nerdy son and a hot blonde wife. I, mean, I feel like we've seen this before. Well, yeah, but I can't really say American Dad. Oh, shit. Oh, crap. <laughs>